Welcome back. A Carbondale woman is sharing a labor of love with Southern Illinois. SIU graduate student Lauren Roberts recently completed a documentary about a Liberian woman who saved the lives of more than 250 children during the war in that country. Take a look. Over 200,000 people died. Um, a large segment of the population displaced and went into refugee camps. So since 1989. And Lauren is here now to talk more about the film and how you can see it this weekend. Thanks for being here, Lauren. Sure, thanks for having me. Uh, what was your experience like traveling to Africa and um, I guess what sort of made you want to take part in this? Well, it started out, I was working with an international aid agency right out of undergrad and have went and lived there for about two years working wow. and was so moved and touched by the story of Mafita and the children whose lives she saved that when I got back, um, I was like, man, I have to go back and tell this story. So we got the documentary crew together and then went back and spent five months there shooting. Um, and now finally, after a long time in the editing room, have it ready to go and we're showing it for the first time publicly um, this Sunday. That's awesome. And, and tell me a little bit more about this woman. She saved the lives of some 250 children. How did she do this? Well, it was the heat of the war, and you'll actually see it in the documentary, but she, uh, at the hands of rebels, was forced to take the first bunch of them. Um, started out with eight and grew all the way to 250. And each child has a very unique story of how they got with her. And she committed her life to care for them um, after her husband left her. Um, she's illiterate, has no money, but just felt that it was her life's calling to take them. So they're there with her now. But she, she currently has many of them then living yeah, with her at this right. time. At the end of the war, many found their families, and which is a huge thing, um, and were reunited. But she still lives with 86 of them. And there's still a hope that they'll find their families. But... For a lot of them, they think Mafita is their mother. Wow, wow. And now you've crafted this documentary known as Rainbow, Rainbow Town. Rainbow Town. Tell me a little mm -hmm. bit more about that name. That name. Well, um, at the end of the war, an organization bought 50 acres of land for Mafita because they had nowhere to live. Okay. And it was given the name Rainbow Town. Um, just after the storm, as the rainbow comes in the sky, that's where that name came from. Wow. What, what uh, memories, I guess, are really hanging with you after all this? Of course, you've got that video and everything to look back on, but what, what emotionally is really with you still? Well, you hear about a war in Africa, and you just think devastation, poverty, corruption, all these things come to mind. I mean, you forget about the beauty and the ashes of that, the humanity, the strength, the courage, mm -hmm. the stories of the survivors, and the... The, the childlike bliss that even continues in such times like that. And that's one thing that I've learned from this story is that mm -hmm. even in these bad things that happen, there's really, really beautiful stories of, of overcoming, and that's what this is. And people can see your documentary this Sunday, is that right? Uh -huh. What time and where? This Sunday, 6 o'clock at the SIU Student Center Auditorium. And the website where you can see the trailer is rainbowtown.org. Is That's that correct? Uh -huh. Great. Thank mm -hmm. you so much, Lauren Roberts, for being here. We appreciate you taking the time to tell us more about this. Sure. Well, thanks for having me.